sense, sense. Fuck being famous, bitch, I'd rather get rich. rich. Real talk, I'd rather hit him. Yo, what it do, YouTube? Currently on the road. Uh, another one, man. It's another one. I'm finna head up here real quick, man. My partner alternator went out on his truck. He had a U.S. alternator, alternator on there, whatever it is. Um, had it on up for a minute with that stung uh, regulator. I think it's the V1200 regulator on it. So what we're gonna do right now, man, we're finna shoot up here. Hit my partner up at Jim Costello up here at Auburn. Finna shoot up here real quick, man. Finna pick up him another alternator. Um, I think they said they had a mint man in stock. So, hey, we finna grab that. But she some diodes on that thing, man. And it still should tell how you so hey, can show y'all how to put diodes on the alternator. Real simple, real easy. It works, man. It works. I have ran it in cabin fever. I ran it before. Um, I could have ran it on this truck. I chose not to. I wanted I wanted to be a little different. I wanted to try other products and stuff, man. So hey, we're finna get up here real quick, man, and pick this up, and then we're finna get to it, man. All right, y'all stay tuned, man. Alright guys, I'm off in Jimmy Car Studio with a nice buddies. That's currently working my nerves, but I'm in here. Everything looks so nice in here. They got them. Look at YouTube, I'm in the air playing around with radios. It's a 112. With this, with, with this ass white. With this ass white. Look at this. 112 on 250. On a 250? What is all hooked up there? 250 RMS on four on my phone. I like that radio. Oh, I love that radio. Dash cam, radar detector, all that. Ooh. I bring business. Alternator, I'd have made it back to the house. Met man, it's a Met man 370. So I'm gonna get back over here with my brother at. I'm gonna go ahead and install this thing, y'all. Guys, made out here. Gonna slap the alternator on. Uh, the old alternator, the whole internals was gone. So I'm gonna go and get started on this. Gotta try to make a ground wire, the spare wire that we have. We don't, we don't have much, so. Gotta try to make a ground why Cut all needed another ground. So we're finna get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. I ain't guys got a lot hot out there for me. Had to come in. But this right here is a diode. Alright, this little thing here will help you boost your voltage. Depending on how high you wanna go, that depends on how many diodes you add. Now the little silver line need to point towards the alternator plug. Not the stud, but the plug. And if you want to charge higher, instead of this just one here, you'll run these parallel. So parallel will be basically all of the silver lines going in the same direction, tied into each other. Very easy, very simple. I mean, it'll take you from charging at 14.8 all the way up in the 15s, real easy, simple. And these things is on like 10 cent. They're like 10 cent or 10, 20 cent off of eBay, so very easy very simple nothing major and remember point the the silver line should be pointed towards the alternator plug not the stud the plug all right let's get back into it all right people we got the alternator on just finna wire it up hot wires oh all there we gotta straighten out this mess here but met man 370 gonna go ahead and get everything wired up Got to put another ground on here because the Met Man come with an escrow ground for the alternator. So, going to make a ground to put there. Like I say, man, not bad, man. Not bad at all. All right, guys, I had to rewire this. This right here, my sensor, my sensor unit, well, sensor wire right here. So, I had to rewire this. 
because this right here was a factory G unplugged. I went back and took the pin out of here and moved it over here to the wire that say S. So the one that say S is where you want your diodes to go to. Right now, I just got it ran like this just for the time being, pay no attention to it. I'm gonna rewire everything in the man. Just had to get the voltage up to where we wanted it. Um, still gotta run the ground. Like I say, real simple, real easy. Don't even take a lot of time. Um, so these right here are, I think, 8004 or something like that diodes. They, they're just little diodes. And I'm gonna solder me a whole length to go to these real quick. And that'll be done. And I'll probably put some heat shrink on it, something like that, going so I can hide all that. And put another clamp and clamp it back here on this wire. And rerun this way better. I'm gonna do all that, but the main thing is everything working. So we want it for everything to be working. So like I say, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and get back to it. And we'll give it a try. Right, guy, we got in here, she back up and charging. She at 15 now. Give her a little gas, take her about 2000 So that should be our stopping boat at 15.7, 15.6, some shit like that. So they're pretty good for the C Mac. So, like I say, we're going to, the battery has been sent down, truck been sent down, everything sent down. So I'm trying to get all the voltage back up. Then I'm gonna go on ahead and clean up all these wires. Cause I know some people probably like, oh, why did he wire like that? I'm just testing. I know, I know I know where everything goes. Just testing it, trying to get it together. I mean, very simple, very easy to do. Like I said, I had to use a factory GM pin, so I had to push one pin out and swap it over. But it's labeled on the alternator itself. It's labeled on the um on the regulator on the alternator. I think that's the regulator. Or wherever you plug it in there, whatever you want to call it, it's labeled there. So every every letter on there means a certain thing. S is for the signal, um, and whatever else means whatever else. You can Google it because I, I'm not good at explaining. But as you can see, it is charging. It's gonna charge on up. We just let it sit here and run. Then we'll get to it, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right, we all done here. We got all the wires up. I got a little need under here. Otherwise, I ain't throwing away. Got the ground hooked up. Yada, yada, yada. All right, cool. All right, bro, fire, fire it up real quick. I'm gonna start mm -hmm. looking at everything. Probably have to drive down the road, get the voted back up where it's supposed to be at. But otherwise, she looking good, y'all. She looking good. We working, y'all. She working. Got the amps on. We're gonna get a little juice, y'all. on the map, nigga, I'm a cop. Yeah. Whenever I start up, it's no, he's going no shot. Bottom of town, it's moving. Them niggas ain't bunch, they trying to be shooting. My name won't be popping, I know I'm gonna be kidding. I'm no break in the middle. I'm on the shit, it's not a beach job. I'm gonna be out. 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 Real cheap, real easy. Um, I had to rewire 
the pin tail because it was wired for a regular GM. I had to wire it up off of the label of the McMahon alternator. But you can see the pin and on the back, the little sensor actually has labels on it. So go buy them labels and you can put the wire where it need to go. There's only gonna be two wires coming out. One for a turn on wire, which is like an ignition wire that can go to a, um, basically a fuse or when the truck come on. Uh, not a constant fuse, just one that when the truck come on, and one is gonna be for the sitting on wire. The basically that's the one I put the diodes on to get the arm um, voltage up. Right now, as you currently can see, it's in that 15.8, not moving. So hey, there you have it. Truck fix. Ah, I'm done for today. So like I say, y'all like, subscribe, and if you got any questions, just let me know. Um, I'm not the best at this, but I do know a little bit about this. All right, y'all be easy. Yeah. We seen this done wrong so many times. We learn from mistakes, let's waste no time. We know what we want, we gon' be fine. This is special, it's one of a kind. See, I... Took every lie that was ever told on my face into consideration. Yeah, I know your heart is racing. Yeah, anxiety, we just gon' take it easy. Yeah, we gon' be fine. Let's not let failure corrupt our minds. I'll take care of your heart like it was.